All right, in this video, we're going to look at media queries. We'll open up the, the README here. And um, so media queries really get to the heart of responsive layout. And with media queries, you can ask the browser what size it is, what size it's of a device it's rendering in, or even whether it's a device. It could be a print layout. It could be a screen. Uh, a speech type, you can actually query a lot about the device that you are going to be rendering the code you have in. And with that, you can change your styles um, to, suit the, to suit that, because there are different styles that certainly we can, we can imagine different visual styles for smaller devices than larger devices. And that takes you into responsive layout. And there's basically two approaches to that, that you could have progressive advancement, which is where you the basic design is for a small device and then you um, you add media queries that change the the design as the device gets bigger it's also called mobile first or you can have graceful degradation and that is about um, you start with your mate your basic design is is for a large device say um, and then you add media queries that test for smaller devices and you, you add design for those. And you'll see both. They're both out there and even in this course you'll, you'll see both. But in general, responsive layout, we like to think mobile first. So we, and, and when you're talking about something visual, what that really boils down to is just things stack up on, to on top of each other vertically. You just don't have that real estate going off to the side available to put more, more uh, images and text out there. So you tend to design for a vertical layout that will fit onto a, a smaller device like a phone. But there are actually many levels. There's, there's phones, there's tablets, there's laptops, there's desktops. And each one of those can be identified by the size of the device, number of pixels that are available and you can and render to that. So we're just going to take our first step into that here with a media query. And we'll see other ways to get mobile first without necessarily using media queries. There are some new CSS properties that allow you to get a, a mobile first or, or a mobile mobile or a, it'll, it'll just the, the property will change how it renders based on the size without you having to, to do a query. So let's look at how this is going to work out. We have um, in this, we have a uh, file. We've got the same file we had in two. And so we just have this list. And if we were, if we're mobile, we want to leave it vertical because we just don't really have enough real estate. I mean, if we, if we had it, if these contain much content that we wanted to make available. Right now, they're just one, two, three, four. We'd want, we don't have enough to like spread them out across the page. So our mobile first will be just to keep them one on top of each other like that. And then we'll do a media query to send them out horizontally. So in this assignment, um, uh, we want to do kind of the same thing we did in last assignment. We'll create a new folder for CSS, a new file for style.css. We'll open up our, our um, we'll make this media query and add our name. And then um, we'll attach our style sheet. All right, so we've got that in there. Um, and let's um, move this over to the right and take a look at what we have. So. The first thing it's telling us here is just set this up the same way you did with CSS2, but leave out anything that makes it horizontal, uh, anything that would apply toward that horizontal layout. So I'm going to grab this. And basically, if you compare what I've got here to what I had at the end of assignment two, the only things I've taken out are the width of the list item and the fact that the list item was inline block. So those are the two things that really made this horizontal. So with that, let's let's uh, run this query, or let's, let's take a look at our page. And you can see I haven't put in any of those colors. Um, 
and I just basically have a vertical layout that's taking up the full width of this. And if I start resizing, isn't that nice? So it just stays the same. So this is a mobile layout. If I go into the inspector and click on my view, that's a nice layout. So this is the, the mobile first. And then what we're told is add a media query for screens greater than or equal to 700 px. And you can think of a tablet as about 768. So this will, this will be a query that is going to apply to things smaller than a tablet. So a tablet, um, or this will apply to things uh, tablet and bigger. So if I say, so there's, you're going to, by the way, I don't have links in here on media queries because I want you to start going and Googling. So at this point, you can just Google media query. They're just like before I provided some links, these links are readily available by Googling. So if I, I've got a W3 Schools there, I've got a MDN developer, Mozilla, and you can go in and you can read about the syntax. And we're not going to do all of the variations by any means, but you can kind of get an idea. You can see the media types that you can pick. And so there's a syntax that allows you to pick media types and then sizes. And I think right now it's good to focus on sizes, which the sizing comes in terms of min width and max width. So if I'm trying to choose screens greater than 700 px, which would be tablets, laptops, and desktops, I am going to want to use min width 700 px. So Sometimes that takes a little difficulty. So if I was trying to size down, I'd say max width. So if I said max width 700, that would mean that I was wanting to apply this to things smaller than, than the 700 px. But we're just going to take this media query, and you can see you've got that at media only screen, and set this in here. And I'm going to color my larger size layouts light blue. And, and sometimes that's nice to do just for testing. Like in the end, maybe you don't really want that color applied. But this will help you to see for sure if you hit your media point, if, you, if your query has detected the thing that you're after. And then I'm going to also, so let's just take a look at that. So back here you can see, so in this large size, I've got my body background blue, but when I get smaller, it returns to white. So I've, I've captured that larger size. Then I'm going to say, okay, because I have a larger size in this media query, I'm going to go ahead and add those things that uh, give me that give me the horizontal layout. So I think that that looks pretty good there. Um, now, oh, I, I didn't do the, I don't have the colors. Let me go back in and grab those. So back in the style sheets, I got all of my coloring by using the CSS colors and let's just add that if we put that in here we we should get what we're looking for so yes there we go so we got our blue background so that's kind of what we're looking for um, and this is, again, just kind of an introduction to using media queries, but you'll hear more about them throughout the rest of this course. And, you know, it's, it's a good idea if you want to just play around with them to see what some of the differences are. All right, so uh, that gets us to what we're looking for. Let's see. Yes, so we have our, our mobile layout and then our, lap, our desktop laptop iPad type layout. Okay, let's add this to Git, GitHub. All right, that gets us uh, with that uh, assignment. We've got assignment three checked in. All right.